Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today's review I received as a present from my daughter. The Kel what was it called? Camry Tech K1000 E pipe. And the tank I've got here is the Steamcrave Glass Mini Mouse Along RTA. And I must tell you, I love it. The draw is perfect through this long mouthpiece. The flavor is a Glass Mini Mouse, glass mini mouse Along RTA with a 0.6 fuse clapton that i made myself six wrap the reason why is i made it a six wrap because this goes up to 30 watts so i wanted to give this a bit of a lower ohm coil in case it, i can't adjust the wattage on it but this looks stunning i mean just look at this Sorry about my plaster, my it hasn't healed yet, but it's getting there. Now, let's have a closer look at it, and then we'll talk about a bit more. Right, let's have a closer look at the Camry Tech K6, K1000, K1000 E-pipe. So, what do we get in the box? Your manual. Let's have a look what it contains the K1000 plus input voltage, output voltage 3.3 to 4.2, resistance 0 0.3 to 9.9 .9 ohm. Um, yeah. And here you got this. You can freeze the screen, have a look. Um, <clears throat> it goes into sleep mode. No vaping, all the operations are 30 seconds. The system's in, uh, into sleep mode to save electricity. Save battery, I assume they mean. It will automatically wake up when you vape or all the operations. Output wattage along with the load power change max 30 watts. Low battery protection, short circuit protection, charging indicator while LED flashes three times, then the lights on when insert USB charger, the lights off when, well, it means when it's finished charging, the lights go off. On and off by pressing the power five times. Overtime protection. Yep, okay. I don't think it's too complicated. And here you get some kind of warranty. So, here's this gorgeous looking pipe. Right, so what we get here, um, mouse or sub -ohm or mouse to long, I'm not sure myself, but I'm not going to use this any case. So, I'll just have a quick look. Uh, it looks like a nice, decent sized tank. We'll talk about. Um, specification of this tank uh, on top this is a 0 0.5 ohm coil very hard to read the writing where is it i've seen it before um, yeah 0 0.5 good from 20 watts to 35 watts well i suppose um you just put in your coil in the base you put in your liquid through here and that's it that's it's the tank let's put this aside and let's have a look now so this is the main barrel and here you put in i'm going to put in here my steam crave glass mini so uh, this is the 510 and here's your fire button so 
one, two, three, four, five, switches off. One, two, three, four, five, switches on. That's all there is to it. There's no wattage setting, nothing. Here the USB. And this we can take off actually. Uh, maybe I'll leave it on for now. And here's your mouse piece. Yeah. Now this goes into your tank, obviously, and this goes into here. Now I tried a few tanks. This mouse piece, as you can see, I put in fairly uh, a large amount of VG here. Not all RTA's mouse to long fit. I haven't tried it in Sobom and on mouse to long stock oil, but they don't, it doesn't fit on quite a few tanks. But I did find that it does fit my Steam Crave Glass Mini. So, yeah. So it fits perfectly. I used a smaller without extension. They shouldn't look too long. And then you just get your mouthpiece sorted. That's it. This is basically all set up to go. Um, let's give this a vape. Nice. It stands, as you can see. Yep. Feels very comfortable in your hand. Very nice looking wood effect. I think it looks beautiful. I love it. <laughs> yeah. In here, I've got a cigar tobacco from La Tabacaria that I need to upload my review on it. So I won't go in too much into the flavor of the liquid in here. Um, so when you watch the review, you'll see me with this pipe doing that review. Yeah, if nothing goes wrong <laughs> with this pipe. Okay, um, well, this is it. Let's talk about it more on top. I just love it. I mean, the holding position of this pipe is perfect. You could either fire it with your thumb or with your finger. And the flavor I'm getting from this juice, I'm gonna review it, hopefully on this pipe, if it still work. Um, I'll just give you a hint. This is called the Piloto Cubano from La Tabacaria. It's a Cuban cigar and I must tell you, oh, this is good indeed. And in the pipe, my mind tricks you literally feel like you're smoking a pipe i've got some expensive pipes that i used to vape uh, smoke <laughs> vape yep um not much on occasion when i'm relaxed on the seaside with a chilled beer um, but this is superb vape. You're getting the full flavor of the RTA, obviously. But the draw is such a smooth draw. And it's so much like a real pipe that's uncanny. Let's go through the spec here. It's aluminum and stainless steel construction. Water transfer printing wood grain surface with grain ha great hand feeling. It is perfect in your hand. I mean, it just feels so comfortable. So comfortable. Where you can't leave it dangling from your mouth like you used to do. It's quite heavy. Well, not heavy, heavy, but to hold it in your teeth, it's not so comfortable. Unique stand, less design. I mean, let me show you. 
Oh, have you seen it below? Is that any case? Um, let me see if I can do it on here. See? So you can put it on your desk. Yeah. And that's where it's actually staying. On my desk. Long cooling drip tip. Uh, wood effect finish and stainless steel buttons. Output wattage 30 watts. It's not, it's, it's like a, a semi mechanical mod, I assume. Because there's no wattage adjustment here, it gets straight from the battery. And it's a built in 1100 mAh battery, supports 0 0.3 to 9.9 .9, 9 .9 ohm resistance. USB charging 2 to 3 hours. 510 spring loaded thread. Yeah, size 18 by 18 by 35. So 18, 18, 35. Three safety features, low power protection, short circuit protection, overcharge protection. Okay, you can read that below as well. Now, by the way, the tank uh, holds four mil and the, uh, between two to four mil, I'm not sure how much actually, this looks like a two mil to me. Yeah. Uh, resistance 0 0.2 ohm. It comes with a 0 0.5 ohm coil head, size 22 by 112 by 22. Yeah, so if you want to use this for your pipe, you can, and you got your coils. But I, if you're an RTA vapor, use your RTA for top flavor. Now, this doesn't fit to every tank. Uh, I tried it on on the intake. Uh, from org vape didn't fit i tried it on the rs v2 uh, uh, version 2 from inikin didn't fit um, the other tanks i didn't want to use because i'm using them on my other uh, devices yeah but this one fits perfectly on the glass mini mouse to long rta i did lubricate the the o-rings and it is perfect I didn't want to use the extension, not to make this too long, but um, in theory you can. It would look a bit longer, but still it would look nice, but I, I wanted it to be fairly short. Um, there's not much to talk about the pipe itself, um, it's just the pleasure of the vape. And the flavor of this liquid, wait for the review. Wow. Delicious, delicious. Especially on this pipe. I mean, it's so uncanny. I love it and I appreciate it very much. You bought it for me. Thank you, darling. Yeah, it's a nice gift. Um, it's exactly what I would have wanted. It's one thing I don't have, an e-pipe. Everything else I've got plenty, but e-pipe I don't have. And this is stunning. I mean, just look how real it looks. Yeah, obviously it doesn't look like a real pipe because the tank, but I'm saying the wood. Um, yeah. And this mouthpiece is super comfortable, super comfortable. Yeah, I can see myself in the mornings now with this, with my coffee. Relaxing, with a good book. In the evenings, I'm watching a film. Yeah, gorgeous. I don't know how long this battery will last. It's a built-in battery. I hope it lasts me a while. Otherwise, you have to buy another thing, another um, barrel, another battery. But I assume if I wouldn't vape it too much, uh, it would last me for a while. She got it from Amazon, so 
I didn't check the price, not nice. She told me she got it from Amazon. <laughs> but it doesn't make a difference how much it costs. It's the sort of counts, right? I, didn't, I don't think it costs much, too much. But it's exactly what I would have wanted. Something I don't have. Yeah, the Cam Camry K1000 Plus E-Pipe. Very nice indeed. Yeah, okay. Again, thank you very much, darling. And to you, if you're interested in this, so here's the review for you to look into. If you have this, I would love to hear your comments. What do you think? Do you feel so comfortable vaping that the way I do? What tank did you put on? What fitted this? The mouthpiece has to fit. Otherwise, there's no point. But I'm glad that my glass mini from Steamcrave fits this perfectly. But don't forget, lubricate the, the mouthpiece, the O-rings, before you put them in. Because otherwise, you can, might tear the... It's a bit tight when you first do it, but then afterwards, it's just fairly loose. Okay, this was the review on the Camry K1000 Plus E-pipe. I love it. I just love it. <laughs> okay, until the next review, take care, enjoy your vape, bye-bye for now.